Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this introduction to TypeScript. So TypeScript is a language that builds on JavaScript and TypeScript cannot be read by the browser. So that's why it's being transformed in JavaScript through a compiler. And that can be, for example, the TypeScript compiler or Babel and Babel, for example, comes with create react app. Um, and the goal of TypeScript is to write typed JavaScript. And during this section, you will understand what this typed actually means. And um, I think there are two main uh, advantages of using TypeScript. The first one is that it will provide type checking errors. And that means that it will catch errors or unwanted behavior in your application before um, you know, you actually push your code to production. Um, you could say it is some kind of inline testing, right? Which we've been talking about before in the, in the testing series. And it also provides better documentation, uh, which makes the code much easier for you, but also for other people working on the same code, uh, to actually understand what is going on and to show you, uh, both of them. I will actually um, show you some code that, you know, is a very simplified uh, uh, comparison be between JavaScript and TypeScript so you can get an idea of what it can help you with. So right here, um, got this application, got a couple of components uh, commented out, but this is a component that I call JavaScript. And right here you see it um, assigns a variable user with a name and age and then it returns the user dot address. But as you can see, there is no address property on our user object. However, if we run the application, nothing will happen because you know, it can't find user address. So the, um, the text or the address is not shown. Now, if you ha would have created this with TypeScript and I will then actually comment out, uh, the JavaScript component and pull in the TypeScript component. Now, if we actually go in here, um, you will see that, and I actually have to comment this because otherwise the code, you know, TypeScript does not even allow the uh, application out to be executed or to, to run because uh, it says that we have an error. It says property address does not exist on type name, string, age number, which is, you know, this is the type, this is what you're seeing right here. And um, so that's what I talked about before. That's the type checking errors, right? This really catches a lot of errors and, and things you might not have been, uh, uh, thinking about, uh, if you would have written it with JavaScript. Now, of course I will change this to name. So our code will work again. And I will actually also comment out this one. So it also helps you with uh, documentation. So let's imagine we have a component and we pass the address, uh, that's defined right here as a property, uh, to this component. So when I now go into that component, you will see, we destructure the address right here. Um, and then we could say address dot, and then we could, for example, say street, right. And that would show up in our react application. Then the problem is, is well, it's not necessarily a problem, but the thing is when I enter address, you know, and I put the dot, I, I'm not sure what's in here. So as a developer, for example, if I use this property, but I'm not actually sure what it, um, what content it could contain, I have to go back and I have to check, okay, it seems to be this object. And maybe we even get like a, a response from a server, right? And then I might have to look into the API documentation to see what the server is actually uh, returning. Now, if we would use TypeScript, uh, and I would just close uh, this one up or actually say street, so we get rid of the error. So if we would use something like TypeScript, and I go into this component, and you will probably see some things you've never seen before. Um, but now also in this component, we destructure address. And now when I say address dot, it will give me all the options and you will see, ah, there's a number, um, which is obviously a number. And then we have a street, which is a string. We have suites that can be either a string or undefined, uh, as you can see by the question mark. 
and we have uh, a zip code which is also a string so for me as a developer that you know provides me a lot of uh, information about what this address property is actually about right what does it contain and what can i use so that's like the the documentation um part of uh, of typescript so i'll actually put this back to the street there we go so there is also some other reasons why i think you should use typescript and the first reason is, pre is pretty simple you know like there there are not a lot of reasons or no reasons to not use typescript and the only thing i can imagine when you might not want to use typescript if you are for example uh, working with a team where no one knows about typescript and you know you have to finish you know a certain project within i don't know like a very short amount of time two three weeks um and you know you will definitely need those two to three weeks then of course it's not a good idea to you know use something like typescript if nobody in the team um knows what it is about um but other than that it, it gives you so much benefits um when when working with other people and what i also notice is that it is rapidly becoming the preferred way of using javascript and, and especially in the react community you know compared to like one or two years ago uh, a lot of people were, were criticizing typescript and i think this was also due to the fact that a lot of people didn't really know what it was about and then it can uh well can be a little scary to some people but you see the adoption now is 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 amazing you know there's a lot of people that the that that are using typescript right now and the same goes for companies uh you know most of the companies that speak they always require a developer to know typescript and uh, i think this is definitely going to become more and more throughout the years uh, and it's even to the point where all the videos I will be making from like the React advanced part of this course and, you know, all my future videos uh, about React, everything will be in TypeScript, okay? And the only reason I choose to not use TypeScript for the, um, you know, for, for, for a large chunk of this course is that it might be a lot easier for people to learn. Um, but the thing is, if you know TypeScript, you can do JavaScript as well. Um, if you know JavaScript, uh, that doesn't mean you know TypeScript, right? It's it's probably not very hard to pick up, as you will see in in, in this series. Um, but I think it's a it's a great skill to know as of today. Um, so to to get back uh, on topic, um, TypeScript is definitely you know it provides you a more reliable and and easier to understand code base. And it uh, it benefits you mostly when building, for example, new features or or uh, uh, if you have to fix some bugs or you have to even refactor the code base, then TypeScript will really come in very very handy. Um, so it's more in the uh, in the maintenance part, so to speak, where it uh, where it's very beneficial. And honestly, I think after watching this part of the course, uh, some of you might still be wondering. Uh, why you should actually use typescript you know uh and i can understand that if you feel like that after watching the uh, the upcoming videos in this uh in the section of the course and the, the the thing with typescript is um you you start to really appreciate it uh if for example your code base grows or if you're working with other people in a code base then uh you know it, it, it will save your ass many 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 times and uh you know that's also the part the point where you will start to love it um until then it might seem a little burdensome because you have to write a little bit more code and it might look make the code look a little bit more complex uh but honestly it, it is not too difficult as you will see in the upcoming videos so um the next thing if you want to get started with typescript um with using create react app uh, in the previous um, videos, we used MPX, create React app, and then um, your application name. Now, if you want to use TypeScript, you can use almost the same. You can say MPX, create React app, uh, the name of your application, and then you have to say dash dash template TypeScript. And that will already make sure that your um, uh, application will start up with everything configured for TypeScript. 
if you um, however want to use TypeScript for an existing uh, React application or create React app uh, and want to integrate TypeScript, you can find more about that in the create React app docs where they show you how to do like the, the migration from, from like JavaScript to TypeScript. But if you have the chance to completely start off clean with, um, uh, with a new application and, and, and just with TypeScript, I would definitely recommend you to do this. And you can of course execute this code in your terminal. So uh, please go on and do that. And then I will see you in the next one.